Have you ever stopped to think about the weirdest things happening around us? Get ready to embark on a journey of incredible discoveries. Today, we're going to explore 12 bizarre facts that challenge everything you thought you knew about the world. Are you ready to be surprised? Then hold on tight, because these curiosities are going to blow your mind in ways you never imagined. And here's a challenge for you, I want you to tell me in the comments which of these curiosities you like the most, so pay attention to all of them and get ready to be amazed. Let's get started. 1. We are a bit taller in the morning than at night. This phenomenon occurs due to the compression and decompression of the intervertebral discs in the spine throughout the day. During the day, especially when we are standing or sitting, gravity acts on our spine, compressing the intervertebral discs. This causes these discs to become slightly thinner and our height to decrease slightly throughout the day. At night, while we sleep, gravity does not exert as much pressure on the spine. This allows the intervertebral discs to recover somewhat from the day's stress and rehydrate. As a result, when we wake up in the morning, our intervertebral discs are more filled with fluid and more swollen, which makes our height a bit taller than when we went to bed the previous night. It is important to note that this change in height is normal and generally not perceived, as it is relatively small, usually only a few millimeters. 2. Coffee helps us stay awake, but the apple helps even more. Coffee is known for its ability to keep us awake and alert due to the presence of caffeine, a stimulant of the central nervous system. When we consume coffee, caffeine blocks adenosine receptors in the brain, which is a chemical that promotes sleepiness. This results in a feeling of alertness and energy. On the other hand, the apple can also help keep us awake due to its nutritional composition. Although it does not contain caffeine, Apples are rich in natural carbohydrates, mainly in the form of fructose, natural fruit sugar, which provides a quick source of energy to the body. Additionally, apples contain fiber, vitamins, and minerals that contribute to healthy digestion and balanced metabolism, which can help maintain stable energy levels throughout the day. Therefore, while coffee is known for its immediate boost due to caffeine, the apple offers a more sustainable and nutritious source of energy over time, which can help keep us awake and alert more effectively in the long run. 3. Iguanas have three eyes. The third eye is on top of their head and can only see brightness. Actually, iguanas don't have three eyes in the traditional sense like humans have two eyes. What's often referred to as a third eye in iguanas and some other reptile species is actually a structure called the parietal eye or pineal eye. The parietal eye is a photosensitive structure located on the top of the head of certain reptiles, like some species of lizards, including some iguanas. This eye isn't used for forming images like the lateral eyes, but it's sensitive to light and darkness. It's connected to the brain through a pineal gland and can help reptiles detect changes in ambient light, like the presence of predators or the passing of seasons. So, while it's not an eye in the conventional sense, this structure still plays a role in the visual perception of iguanas, allowing them to detect variations of light in their surrounding environment. Are you enjoying the video? Don't forget to leave a like, and to keep you even more curious, here's a question that will drive you crazy until the next video, and did you know there's an animal that can regenerate virtually every part of its body? Discover more about this fascinating creature in the next video, so don't forget to subscribe, let's keep going. 4. Women blink their eyes more often than men. Women tend to blink their eyes more often than men, and there are some possible explanations for this. Eye physiology, a study suggests that women have smaller tear glands than men, which may lead to a higher frequency of blinks to keep the surface of the eyes lubricated and protected. Hormonal composition, hormonal differences between men and women can influence the blinking pattern of the eyes. For example, female hormones such as estrogen may play a role in regulating tear production and, consequently, blink frequency. Nonverbal communication, as some research suggests that women use more frequent blinks as part of their nonverbal communication. Blinking eyes can be a subtle way to express interest, flirtation, or even disagreement in a conversation. 
These are just a few of the possible reasons why women tend to blink their eyes more often than men, but it's important to note that the frequency of blinks can vary from person to person and can be influenced by a variety of individual factors. The expiry date on a bottle of water is for the bottle itself, not for the water. The expiry date on a bottle of water usually refers to the quality of the bottle itself, not necessarily the water contained within it. Water bottles are made of plastic, and over time, this plastic can degrade, especially if the bottle is exposed to sunlight, heat, or other adverse conditions. The expiry date indicates until when the manufacturer guarantees that the bottle will maintain its structural integrity and not leak harmful substances into the water. Over time, the plastic can deteriorate, which could affect the quality of the water. Additionally, prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures can lead to chemical leaks from the plastic into the water, which can affect its taste and even its safety. Therefore, it is important to respect the expiry date indicated on the water bottle to ensure that the bottle is in good condition and that the water stored inside it is not contaminated by chemicals released from the degradation of the plastic. 6. Boiling water extinguishes fire better than cold water? Boiling water extinguishes fire more quickly than cold water for several reasons. Higher temperature, boiling water is at a much higher temperature than cold water. When you pour boiling water over a flame, the high temperature of the water helps to absorb the heat from the flame more quickly. This reduces the temperature of the fire, causing it to diminish or extinguish more rapidly. Change of physical state, when cold water is poured over the fire, it first needs to absorb enough heat to warm up and only then will it begin to vaporize. Meanwhile, boiling water is already in the form of vapor and immediately comes into contact with the flame, removing heat rapidly. Dispersion of particles, a boiling water, when rapidly turning into vapor, creates a large number of particles in a short period of time. These particles help to disperse the flammable gases present in the flame, interrupting the supply of oxygen and fuel needed for combustion. Greater volume of vapor, when boiling water comes into contact with the flame, it instantly turns into vapor, occupying a much larger volume than liquid water. This can help suffocate the fire, creating a physical barrier between the flame and oxygen. However, it's important to note that boiling water should still be used with caution when extinguishing fires, especially in oil or grease fires, where it can cause dangerous splashing. In some situations, specific extinguishing agents may be more effective and safer than simply using water. 7. You've never seen your true face, only photos and reflections. It's true, isn't it? Our eyes only capture fragmented reflections of ourselves. The image we see in the mirror or in photographs is a representation, but never the complete reality. Every angle, every lighting, every moment captures a different version of ourselves. Sometimes, I think we're like works of art in constant flux, sculpted by experiences, emotions, and time. Every wrinkle, every mark, tells a story. And yet, we can never quite see that whole story. Maybe that's why we're so fascinated by portraits and self-portraits. Artists try to capture the essence of a person, but even they can only show a part of the whole. And so, we continue to gaze into mirrors, to photograph ourselves, in search of something we may never truly see. So, the next time you look in the mirror, remember that there's so much more to you than meets the eye. You're a masterpiece in progress, a story in constant evolution. And perhaps, just perhaps, the true beauty lies in what we cannot see directly. 8. Lighter before the match. The idea of lighting a fire through portable and more convenient means than the traditional friction of stones or wood has always been sought after. The modern lighter, as we know it today, was one of those innovations. In 1823, Johann Wolfgang Doberaner, a German chemist, patented the first modern lighter, known as the piston lighter. This device used a chemical reaction to generate heat and ignite a flame. Meanwhile, the match, another method of starting a fire, was invented three years later, in 1826, by the English chemist John Walker. He created the first matches by accident, while stirring a chemical mixture and noticed that one end of the stick he was using started to burn after coming into contact with a rough surface. 
So, while common conception may suggest that matches came before lighters, in fact, modern lighters were invented and patented before the development of matches, introducing a new convenient and portable way to light a fire. 9. Goldfish in the Dark The pigmentation of goldfish, as well as that of many other animals, is influenced by light. This is because light triggers a series of chemical reactions in the goldfish's body, which in turn affect the production and expression of the pigments responsible for color. In an environment with adequate light, these pigments are produced and expressed properly, resulting in the vibrancy of the colors observed in goldfish. However, in a dark environment, where there is a significant lack of light, the chemical reactions that regulate the production and expression of these pigments may be interrupted or reduced. As a result, the pigments may not be produced in sufficient quantity or may not be expressed in the same way, leading to a loss of color in goldfish. This can cause their vibrant colors to fade or even disappear completely in an environment without adequate light. Therefore, keeping a goldfish in a well-lit environment is important not only for its overall health but also to preserve its vibrant colors and beauty. 10. Russia bigger than Pluto Let's explore this comparison a bit further. Russia Russia is the largest country in the world in terms of territorial area. Its expanse covers a significant portion of Eurasia, including vast areas of forests, plains, mountains, and arctic zones. Russia is so vast that it spans across 11 different time zones, showcasing its geographical vastness. Additionally, Russia boasts a great diversity of climates and ecosystems, ranging from the cold arctic regions to the subtropical regions of the Caucasus. Pluto Pluto is a dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt, a distant region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. After being reclassified by the International Astronomical Union in 2006, Pluto lost its status as a major planet of the solar system, being considered a dwarf planet. Pluto has an average diameter of approximately 2,377 kilometers, making it significantly smaller than the major planets of the solar system such as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. When comparing the territorial area of Russia to the diameter of Pluto, we can visualize the immensity of the Russian territory in relation to this celestial body. This comparison highlights not only the vast geographical expanse of Russia, but also the diversity and complexity of its territory compared to the celestial bodies in our solar system. 11 Floors and Music The relationship between plants and music is a fascinating field of study known as plant musicoculture or plant music therapy. Studies in this field have shown that some plants respond positively to music, showing improvements in growth, development, and even in fruit or flower production. The theory behind this phenomenon suggests that the sound vibrations emitted by music can affect plant cells in various ways. One explanation is that the vibrations can stimulate the cellular metabolism of plants, increasing nutrient absorption and promoting photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy. Additionally, music can influence plant growth patterns, stimulating cell elongation and promoting faster and healthier growth. Some studies suggest that certain types of music, such as classical music or relaxing music, have a more positive effect on plants, while other genres may not have the same impact or even cause stress in plants. Although more research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms behind this plant response to music, the results so far are intriguing and suggest that music can be a valuable tool for promoting plant growth and well-being in agricultural or gardening environments. 12. Deadly Cocoa This curiosity is a fun way to illustrate how our perceptions of danger can be skewed. While sharks have a reputation as fearsome predators due to movies and media, statistics show that shark attacks are relatively rare and the chances of being killed by one are extremely low. On the other hand, accidents involving coconuts, such as coconut palm falls, may be more common in tropical areas where these trees grow. When a coconut falls from a considerable height and hits someone on the head, it can cause serious injuries and, in extreme cases, even death. Therefore, while the risk of being attacked by a shark may seem more frightening due to media attention and the cultural fear associated with them, in reality, it is statistically more likely to die from a coconut accident. 
This curiosity highlights how our perceptions of danger can be influenced by factors such as media and culture, rather than objective statistical data. And so we come to the end of this fascinating episode of Curious Things. I hope you've been as impressed as I have by all these amazing curiosities we've explored together. But before we say goodbye, I want to remind you of one very important thing, if you enjoyed this content and want to continue receiving regular doses of incredible curiosities, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Until then, keep exploring the world around you and never stop marveling at the wonders that life has to offer. See you soon, explorers!